Being a freak. Get out of here. Hello, everyone. What's up? I feel like this looks weird. I feel like my hair looks weird. Like it looks like somebody took an axe and hit me on this side of the head, but you barely missed my. And then I've got like the misfits thing going on. You need your haircut. All right. So anyway, so we are here today to film a video. I'm barely in this video. We are here to film a video. Um, you, if you saw our picture, we had a ton of packages today. I don't know. It was. 20 or more. Yeah, um, quit and hitting the table because it's like making the video shape. And um, we've got a bunch of stuff to show you from them. Yes, so we just kind of cherry picked like what we wanted to share from what we got that's comic related. And do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll do these two. These okay. are from Andrew and Chris at Comics World. And this is Doctor Strange 169. This is not, it's not Doctor Strange, it's a, uh, yeah, this is when, um, oh my goodness, the original series, Strange Tales, turned into Doctor Strange. This is his first solo book and his origin. So, I got that, and then, no wait, that's not from them. This is from some other person, Sean T. Jackson, I think. Um, and then from them... I got Amazing Spider-Man number 33 with the classic cover. And then from this one is from them. This is the first Doctor Strange solo series, Doctor Strange Volume 1, Issue 1. Did you buy that for 50 cents? What? That one right there? No, that's a $50 price tag he's got oh. on it, but I didn't... You know how he does like the... The store price. Like, he can buy it now, or you can yeah, bid. Yeah, okay. $50 was his buy it now, but I didn't pay that. Okay. You want to do some? All right. Um, so, I have two. Do that that one on top first, because that oh, one's okay. from the guys at Comics World. This too. is from Jason and Andrew. And I love to collect variants, so that's mostly what my haul is. Um, but this is the Flash variant for the Bombshell, I mean, the Bombshell Flash variant. I think that's supposed to be Iris West that's on the cover. I think she's so cute. Uh, 32 is the number, and I like it because it reminds me of the 50s, so I think that's really cool. Like the little, oh, I almost dropped the jitterbug. I put the jitterbug in the TV. Oh, uh. And then I'll show two more variants. This one I know is from Ryan. Yeah, that's from Ryan. This one is from Ryan. And this is the Scotty Young variant for Miracle Man number one, which I did not have. And then I also got another Scotty Young variant. Don't know who this one's from. Happened. That was from Sean T. Jackson. Okay. This is the Ultimate number one um, Scotty Young variant. So I got those. And from Ryan, I also got... The Amazing Spider-Man 44, and then I got a Golden Age Looney Tunes issue. This is issue, it doesn't say. It just says a 50 page, 52 page. Yeah, 52 page comic magazine, 10 cents. This is Adele Comics Looney Tunes issue. Um, I really like Golden Age. I'm, um, I think this is my third or fourth golden age book but i'm trying to collect as much golden age as i can now because i just like it i like the fact that they've been around for so long you know before either of my parents were born these books were coming out when my grandparents were kids and they're still here so i think that's cool uh then i have some uh the marvelous land of oz which is made by scotty young this is uh, one of eight. I am collecting anything that's Scotty Young. So we have number two in that series. I love his art. And we have number three in that series. So I have those. Um, do you want me to show some more stuff? Yes, you can. I also have uh, DC Comics Presents Harley Quinn Annual Number One. That's from Carlos Jimenez, who. It's probably Jimenez. Jimenez. Yeah, oh, Jay's probably. Probably. Yeah, you're probably right. Jays. Anyway, he um, like I've never bought from him before, but I bought from him the other day, 
and he shipped quick. Like everything went very smoothly. And I've had three or four bad transactions in a row before that where something didn't go perfectly or it didn't go as smoothly as I thought it should have. So I was very happy with that, Carlos. Thank you very much. And then another variant that I also like to collect is the Monsters of the Month variants. And these are all from Carlos, too. I, I love horror movies, so this kind of puts me in that, you know, the mood of that. So here is Batman and Robin. I like how they're dressed Monsters like mummies. I think that one's so yeah, cool. That is number That's 35. one of my favorite Monsters of the Month that I've seen. Yeah, I like that one a lot, too. Uh, then we have Batman Detective Comics, Monsters of the Month, number 35. We have Grayson, number 3. Let's do it this way. And we have, I like this one a lot too, uh, Superman Action Comics, number 35. So I got all those. I'm going to show these last. Um, also, I got from Carlos... I got The Amazing Spider-Man 194, first appearance of Black Cat. And he sent us this for free. I got another one from him, but that's going to be the last thing I show. But he sent us this for free, and I was very glad to get it. This is Prince Neymar, the Submariner, number 8. Well, because you really like the thing. And he's fighting the thing on the cover. So that was pretty cool. Thank you very much for that. Um, and then, do you want to show yours? Yes. And then so I'll show my slab okay. first, where you can, where your slab can be a little special. Okay. Um, this is. I'm gonna sleep with this tonight. Why is that so thick? It's slabbed. That slab is much thicker than ones I've seen. It looks. Like oh, it's, it's because this is a thick book. Oh, okay. This is a 100-page comic. Gotcha. This is Eric Larson. Uh, sketched and signed 9.4 Savage Dragon 200 and he's got a picture of Malcolm Dragon right there on the cover and I love it so much. Uh, That's really cool. Just really one of my favorite things that I own. I was just when I got it, I was, and I got this from eBay. Uh, when I got it, I was so excited to have it. So I'm going to tell a little story about my slab. So the first comic book auction I ever watched was, me and Adam watched it together, and it was Zach Russell's. And I saw this comic book, and I wanted to bid on it, and I didn't because Adam was like, oh, well, that's silly. And so Larry Clarkson ended up winning it. I said if you want to bid on it, bid on it. And you were like, no, she does this thing where she thinks she knows what I'm thinking, and then she talks herself out of things. She's like, I want to bid on that. And I'm like, okay, if you want to bid on it, bid on it. You think it's silly. You don't like it. I'm not going to bid. And I'm like, well, if you want to bid, go ahead and bid. No, no. I think you think I'm stupid. And I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, that is me. So, I liked it. And I would joke around with Larry that, you know, I wanted to buy it. And, um... Because I really did want to buy it. And finally, he decided to let it go. I'm sure he shed a tear as he packaged this beautiful book up. But... I am excited to own it, and that is Grumpy Cat and Pokey, number one, and it's um, slabbed. I'm sure I'm probably the only owner of this mm. book slabbed. You're probably the only person who has that. And he also included uh, Gum Grumpy Cat and Pokey. This is like a little uh, Halloween comic fest comic, and I love Jason Voorhees, so I thought this was so cool because it's Grumpy Cat wearing a Jason Voorhees mask. So, that's cool, and I think we're down to 5%. So. Yeah, the last thing that I want to show you before my big purchase is I got this bust, which is one of 500. It was sculpted by Clayton uh, Claiborne Moore, excuse me, and it has signatures by Claiborne Moore and Eric Larson. It's just, it's amazing. I've not taken it out of the box. I don't plan on it. This is probably going to stay in the box, but it's just, it's a beauty. Then, for my, like, extra goodies um, that are not comic books, uh, so Adam bought me some figures, and when they arrived, they reeked of smoke. This is, like, the worst smoke smell I've ever smelled. It was so strong. Um, so I decided I'll just take the figures out of the package and wash them, because they still smell like smoke even in the packaging. Um, but I love them so very much, and I've never seen this one before, so... 
I'm very, very excited to own it. And once I wash them, they, they don't smell anymore. So, uh, But this is Leela from Futurama. And I just think that this is so awesome. I love Leela. She is one of my favorite characters. Um, so I was excited to get that. Then we, with her came Little Nibbler. And I love Nibbler. Nibbler is my second favorite character. Bender would be my first. Well, Nibbler and Bender are tied, but I love Nibbler so much. He is so cute. And it came with a little litter box with a black matter piece of poop, what they use to fuel their spaceship. So they use Nibbler's poop. Um, <laughs> but, so that it came with that. And it also came with two little blaster guns. So the, this was so cool. Like, I'm so excited to have it. So excited to set it up. I love Futurama very much. I actually have a, did I say I have a bender tattoo on my leg? No, you didn't. So I have a bender tattoo on my leg, and I was wanting to get more, um, so maybe eventually I'll add to it. But I also got this Scotty Young Deadpool wallet um, from eBay, and I really like it. It's so cute. So I'm going to use that. And then my last one, I also purchased off of Amazon, and I want to get more of these. But I'm excited to have this one. This one was my favorite. Well, it was tied with Venus. I, I really like Venus too. This is a... That's our dog. Sorry about that. Uh, this is a animated statue, the 75th. It's a Scotty Young... Scotty Young's interpretation of Captain America. So I have that. And like Adam, I the box is in really good condition. So... I probably will not take it out of uh, the box. The last thing that I got, you can see the Dynamic Forces seal and COA. Just imagine Stan Lee is Batman, signed by Stan Lee and Joe Kubert. Um, I got this from Carlos Jimenez, and I just... Uh, I, people kept bidding me up on this, and I just kept, like... He had a hard close. This was a reply auction. And I had an absurd amount typed in um, in case anybody tried to snipe me. Fortunately, nobody didn't. I am going to be meeting Stan Lee in a couple of months. But to have Stan Lee and Joe Kubert's signature on a book, I mean, just two legends. It's, it's really awesome. This will never be graded because if, if it's graded, I'd have to break the Dynamic Forces seal. And with the COA, I don't know how grading handles COAs. But anyway, this is going to be framed, put up somewhere, and I'm glad to have it. I guess that's all there is to say. I better stop talking before the video runs out. Well, I think we have time to open this real quick. Well, we have a package from Nathan Liberty. Um, that was one that we saved. Because... We saved it because we wanted to open it on camera. I yes. hope we have time. If not, we're going to do an unboxing, a reveal just for Nathan stuff. Can you open it? Or... Yeah, Nathan is a friend of ours, and... I see a COA yeah, right cool. on top there. This is... Oh, Fantastic cool. Four. I can never read these cover numbers on these all white covers. Yeah, I never can either. It's really hard but to But it's tell. Fantastic oh, Four issue. Oh, thank you. Look. Secret Wars, uh, number one, variant edition, Scotty Young. I love Scotty Young so much. And then um, these I did order from him. This is Transformers 2, which was in the Transformers miniseries. I have one already. Ghostbusters International 1. Cool. And then this oh, is... Oh, cute! That's a Hastings, a Hastings yeah. exclusive. Wow, the Superior Spider-Man. And this is a Labbit. These are really cute. They're like, um, they make little blind boxes and you can get rabbits that look different. So this is a Hastings variant. I know that Hastings and Kid Robot sold the Labbit, so that's really cool. I love variants so And much. then I got... This was Amalgam. This was when DC and Marvel joined companies. And this is Doctor Strange Fate. This is signed by Ron Mars. Wow, that is COA. cool. With a COA. And I remember bidding on this in one of Nathan's auctions. So thank you very much for that. 
And sorry if it felt like we rushed through that package. We try not to do that, but we don't want the phone to die yet. Yeah, we are running on very low battery. He had 1%, and I I am definitely at 5% or lower because the screen, like, darkened or whatever. Yeah. So, But thank you so much, Nathan. We really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you, guys. So nice thank you. everybody who sent us something. Yes. Larry, Nathan, um, uh, Carlos, um... Andrew and Jason. Andrew and Jason, and I'm forgetting one more. Sean T. Jackson. One more person I'm forgetting. C. Ryan Lusk. Yes. So thank all of you guys for sending us stuff. We very much appreciate and it. And eBay and Amazon. ABM, <laughs> uh, eBay and Amazon. <laughs> thank you guys. Um, today was kind of like Christmas, like Jenna said. We ne like we might get two or three packages sometimes, but, but we never, never get yeah. anything like that. Whenever this, he so. was, we didn't check the post office box in a little while, and whenever he was bringing it in, and he only had like two things, and I was like, oh, that's all we got. And then he was like, no, look over there. And I looked at the pa table, and I was like... <sighs> Like, I couldn't believe it. So it was really exciting to get to open everything and to see, like, all the goodies that we've gotten. So thank you guys for watching, and we hope everybody's having a good day. Bye -bye. Have a good day, guys.